Could healing really be as simple as taking off your shoes and stepping outside? Beneath your feet lies the Earth's energy, an ancient force your body may be craving. I'm Marie T. Russell, co-publisher of InnerSelf.com. This is the story of grounding, science, discovery, and the barefoot path to wellness. Part 1. The Great Disconnection Modern life disconnects us from nature, from rest, from the Earth itself. Rubber soles, concrete floors, Wi-Fi, and chronic stress keep us floating above the ground. But our bodies were built to touch the Earth, to share its quiet electricity. The surface of the Earth pulses with negative electrons, our planet's natural antioxidant field. When we walk barefoot, these electrons can flow into us, calming inflammation and stress. But for decades, we've cut ourselves off, unwittingly insulating our bodies from this essential charge. Clinton Ober, a retired cable executive, knew a thing or two about insulation and grounding. In cable TV, grounding prevents signal loss and interference. It stabilizes the entire system. One day, Ober wondered, if grounding stabilizes electricity, what would it do for a human? He noticed people were walking around in plastic and rubber-soled shoes, total electrical insulation. Leather soles used to allow some connection, but now our feet are sealed off from the earth. He started asking, what happens if the human body is grounded again? To test it, he built a crude setup, metal mesh, a wire, and a rod in the dirt. That night, he slept better than he had in years, no tossing, no waking, no pain. Curious, he shared his experiment with friends who had insomnia, pain, and fatigue. One after another, they reported better sleep, fewer medications, even improved moods. Ober realized he might have stumbled onto something bigger than just a personal breakthrough. But to be taken seriously, he needed science, not just stories or hunches. And science wasn't interested, at least not at first. Part 2. The Skeptics Get Surprised The scientific community thought Ober's idea was nonsense. Too strange, too barefoot, too basic. Then he met Dr. Maurice Galli, a physician ready to disprove it once and for all. Galli designed a study to prove grounding didn't work, but he was in for a shock. His subjects reported sleeping better, falling asleep faster, and waking up more refreshed. Pain faded, stress lowered, even chronic problems like jaw clenching and hot flashes eased. Most notably, cortisol, the stress hormone, began to regulate naturally in grounded individuals. Gali had expected a placebo effect. Instead, he found a biological revolution in motion. He published his findings in 2004 with researcher Dale Teplitz. Grounding wasn't magic. It was measurable, repeatable, and deeply human. Subjects didn't just sleep better, they healed more deeply and felt emotionally lighter. Let's look at what some participants said after grounding consistently while sleeping. I fall asleep faster and I stay asleep longer. I wake up feeling alive, not groggy, not exhausted. No more morning headaches or nighttime leg cramps. My depression and food cravings eased. My hot flashes and PMS symptoms dropped significantly. I used to snore, now I don't, and my partner thanks you. Jaw tension and clenching, gone. I stopped wearing a night brace. Fibromyalgia symptoms improved. I feel lighter, more hopeful. I no longer need an hour of sleep I used to depend on. Allergies faded. I stopped grinding my teeth. Heartburn vanished. These weren't small changes. This was whole person healing from sleep to digestion. Gailey and others saw that grounding didn't just help, it transformed. And now scientists wanted to know how it worked, not just that it did. Part three, the matrix of healing. Grounding seemed simple, but biologically it connected to deep systems few understood. At the center of it all, a tiny spot on the bottom of your foot, kidney one. Known in acupuncture as the body's grounding point, kidney one starts a powerful energy circuit. It connects to the kidney meridian, and from there to every organ, every tissue. These meridians, science now suspects, form part of a system called the living matrix. The matrix is a continuous web of connective tissue, physical, energetic, and electrical. It connects every cell, every nerve ending, even the interiors of your DNA. When you touch the earth, electrons enter through kidney one and flow across this matrix. Antioxidant electrons saturate tissues, neutralizing free radicals and cooling inflammation at its core. This isn't symbolic, it's electrical. Visualize a forest fire slowly being doused by a calming rain. Chronic inflammation underlies heart disease, arthritis, cancer, and aging itself. Grounding may be the only anti-inflammatory that's free, fast-acting, and universally accessible. Picture it. 
a tangle of red-hot wires soothed by Earth's silent, stabilizing touch. Electrons don't just float randomly. They travel where they're needed, guided by the body's needs. Pain, injury, stress, all signal where the charge is needed most. The body becomes a conductor, and the Earth becomes its power source. The result? Not just less inflammation, but better energy, improved cellular repair, and emotional steadiness. Grounding gives your nervous system a reset button. It gives your immune system a steady hand. It gives your mind a calm horizon, grounded quite literally in something real. But how do we apply this in daily life? That's where part four begins. Part four, reclaiming your ground. You don't have to move to the woods to ground. Just remove your shoes with intention. Grass, soil, sand, unpainted concrete, they're all open invitations to reconnect. Even 15 minutes a day can change your body's chemistry and quiet your mind. Walk barefoot on dewy morning grass. Stand barefoot while drinking tea in your garden. Rest your feet in a stream. Sit on the beach and dig your toes into the sand. If you're injured, get grounded as soon as you can. Recovery begins with reconnection. Before intense workouts or sports, spend time barefoot outdoors to fill your electron reserves. After activity, ground again. Flush out inflammation before it sets in. Going into surgery, connect to the earth beforehand and after for faster healing. Even therapists can benefit. Grounding during sessions protects both patient and practitioner. Indoor options exist too. Grounded bed sheets, mats, and patches that link to grounded outlets. They're not gimmicks, they're tools for modern life where earth is often out of reach. Your pets, especially indoor ones, benefit too. A grounded pad can soothe and heal them. If you work at a desk all day, rest your bare feet on a grounded mat. If you're sleeping poorly, try a grounding sheet or pillowcase and notice what shifts. Let each step become sacred, each barefoot moment a return to balance. Grounding isn't a spiritual metaphor. It's electrical, physical, and measurable. It's not about belief, it's about trying it and feeling the shift for yourself. Our ancestors walked this way, not for wellness, but because it was life itself. We now have the science to understand what they knew instinctively. The earth isn't something you walk on, it's something you plug into. It's time to stop hovering through life and touch down. We live in a world of noise, wires, and screens, but beneath it all, the earth waits. Take off your shoes, step outside, reconnect with what your body has been missing. The cure may not be complicated, it might just be grounded and grounding. This video is based on an article written by James L. Oshman, PhD, which was included in the book, Energy Medicine Technologies, edited by Finley Eversole, PhD. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to visit us at InnerSelf.com, where new attitudes are formed for new possibilities. New articles and videos are published daily and the magazine on Sundays.